everybody, it's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager for My Derma Clean. And today I'm here to go over with you guys a couple different variations you can take for modifications to properly do a row. All right, so I have some light weights. Hopefully you have some medium light weights at home. If you don't have any weights, you can definitely do your rows with cans. Or if you have stretchy bands, that's a great option to do the rows. I'm gonna to demonstrate today with these lightweight stuff. Okay, so typically when we're doing a row in class, we're standing with our feet about hips width distance apart. You're grounding those feet into the floor. You take a bend in your knees, so your hips send back, so you can find a nice flat back here. Opening up that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and drawing your belly in, you then simply work to, again, squeeze and engage your back, drawing your elbows towards each other, and then relaxing them down by your side. I like to think about having the tops of your weights as if they're a paintbrush painting up that angle you've created with your thighs as you really work to pull your elbows towards each other. And that's just like our typical row that we normally do in class. If you find that hinging forward and keeping this flat back is challenging for you, a great variation is to practice your row using a chair or a bench so that you can come on into a modified tabletop, use your front arm to find some support on the chair, so working to open up your chest, engage your back, pull that belly in, you can then still find this delightful row motion one arm at a time. Think about trying to create that space of your shoulders away from your ears, and then you would simply need to turn over, do the other side, just to be nice and even. You can also, if you are challenging yourself, but maybe your weight is a little bit heavy, instead of doing both arms at the same time for a standing row, you can always alternate your arms in a row. And then another option if you're working to move, looking to work a little bit harder is to come on into a lunge. And we're gonna go for a lawnmower row. So taking your opposite arm, the same arm that you have your leg, bend forward, you reach down in front of you towards the floor, and then rotate up and open. So getting a little bit more work in those obliques, a little bit more in the back, challenging your balance as well, so that you need to use your abs to balance more. A long lower row is a great way to build the intensity. Another option if that long lower row seems a little too easy for you is going for a renegade row. So bringing that upper body, your core a little more into play, coming into a plank, engaging your back, engaging your belly, and still working to draw that weights up, the weights up right by your rib cage. If you're looking for a way to combine your lawn mower and your plank, you could even do a side plank Think about really getting your hand pump under your chest and rotating out, even rotating out, adding a little bit of an arm extension in. And you can again do those alternating to each side. Great, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a couple different variations that you can bring to your row during class to find the row that absolutely works best for you. If you guys have any questions or concerns about what we said or did today, as always, I hope that you would reach out. Have a wonderful day.